Welcome to Exhibitor Lounge, sponsored by ExhibitEdge.com. Now, I'm your host and your trade show mixologist, Michael Gray. Here each week, you receive simple, practical, and proven tips to improve your trade show marketing strategy and get better results while maximizing your budget. Okay, today begins the last stage of the AV Equipment and Connection Series. Now, it's what I consider the most important part as we will discuss the do's and don'ts of connecting computers and monitors together through different ports. Hey, a big side note, if you're just reading the video text in the Exhibitor Lounge newsletter, I highly recommend that you open the video as there are a lot of illustrations to assist you in understanding this information. Okay, we will go over the basic connections to determine when a passive or an active adapter is needed. Okay, let's go through the different types that we will discuss. All right, number one, the VGA computer output to an HDMI monitor input. Number two, USB computer output to HDMI monitor input. Number three, display port computer output to HDMI monitor input. Number four, a USB stick directly into a USB monitor port. And last but not least, number five, HDMI computer output to DVI monitor input. Okay, let's use number one as an example. The VGA computer output port to an HDMI monitor input port. Now, I see this all the time on show floors right now. Everyone has their older company issued laptops and they rent or buy a new lightweight LED or LCD monitor. Now on the show floor, they discover that the monitor does not have a 14 pin VGA connection, but does have an HDMI port. So they run out to get a passive adapter that changes the VGA port to fit the HDMI port only to realize that it did nothing to help the signal compatibility issue. Bottom line, it didn't work. Why not, you ask? In order to answer that question, we need to understand the difference between a passive adapter and an active adapter. Now, active adapters are also known as converters. In a nutshell, a passive adapter only changes the physical connection of the output port to fit a different input port. Well, all right, it would be like taking an American hairdryer to England and just adding an adapter on the end of the plug so it'll fit into a British wall socket. Well, you solve the connection problem but not the electrical compatibility problem. Your 110 volt hair dryer was not compatible with the 220 volt British electrical system. Now without a way to convert the voltage, well, your hair dryer is toast. An active adapter would convert the voltage. Now, if we put this back into AV connection terms, an active adapter would convert the VGA analog signal to a digital HDMI signal. So the takeaway from today's topic is that the type of signal being transferred will determine the need for a passive or an active adapter connection. Hey, as always, please respond with your questions or comments and let others know about ExhibitorLounge.com. We'll see you next week. Until then, I'm your host, Michael Gray, telling you, relax in the Exhibitor Lounge.